r slash relationships. Lighted Catty says. My husband, 35 meters, and I, 36 F, are feeling a little defeated lately after aging, and some tough years have really put a dent in our appearance and confidence. How can we get to a better place with this? This is a little weird, and I'm being a little vulnerable by talking about this. I hope everyone will be kind and understanding in replying to this, I'm using a throwaway, because I didn't want to associate this with my regular account. I know this is totally a go to therapy kind of question, but I'm between therapists at the moment, because I took a new job, and I'm waiting for my new insurance to kick in. And this is so weird, that I haven't come up with a good way of talking about this with friends just yet. Some necessary background first, my husband and I have been married 12 years. We knew each other back in high school, and started dating, when he had just graduated, and I was a senior. We got married a few years later, after I finished college. I really dislike the high school sweetheart stereotype and everything that comes with it, but I guess some of it was true in our case. We learned early on, that we wouldn't be able to have kids, because of some medical things happening, but we were actually totally cool with it. We thought maybe we'd adopt later on, but we haven't felt the urge for that just yet. We've built a great life. Together. We are doing pretty good in our careers, travel a lot, have some good friends we are close with. Realistically we are in a pretty good position, and don't have much at all to complain about. Except there's one thing, that has really been chewing away at us for some years now, and I think it's getting worse for us. We both have some really bad anxiety about ourselves, our appearance, and how quickly we are slipping away to aging. I don't think either of us were ever exactly tens or super attractive or anything. Maybe we turned heads once, or twice when we were younger, but certainly no more than anyone else. I think the two of us have often had conversations that, if we hadn't gotten on so well, when we were younger, it's highly unlikely anyone would have been that interested and neither of us based solely on appearance. That feeling kind of got explained in some very real terms to us a few years ago. We never had a real dating experience, and we felt super confident and comfortable with one another, so we decided to try a trial of our version of an open marriage for a little bit of time. The two of us talked and talked and talked about it, we felt pretty comfortable with trying it. Except nobody felt comfortable trying it with us. Apps, meetups, and all other things yielded really nothing for either of us, so we admitted defeat, and gave it up after our trial period. We felt pretty defeated and humbled by no one really caring for either of us, so we've shelved the idea. Lately I think the two of us have been looking in mirrors and we are realizing the stress of the last few years have taken a toll on us. In addition to the stress that the covered years put on us, we've dealt with job changes for me, deaths in the family, and a lot of other horrible stuff we've never had to deal with until lately. I think a lot of sleepless nights and over-reliance on alcohol as a crutch has beaten us up a bit. Things have gotten better recently. The job change I went through in the last month or so was one of my choosing, which was a much more positive experience. He and I have had a lot of conversations about this sort of thing in the last month or so, while I had some time off between jobs and I think we are both feeling defeated and exhausted. We are attracted to each other of course, but it's a bit demoralizing to realize. We are getting older, less attractive, and probably realistically would be of no interest to anyone, if we weren't together. I know it's a silly and vain thought, but it's been stuck in our heads, and rattling around in there for some time now, neither of us can seem to shake it. We joke about it a lot, to try to put a positive spin on it, but it's still tough. Does anyone have any advice on how the two of us can feel attractive again? I want to feel confident, and I want my husband to feel confident. I think we've talked to therapists, and have tried every trick that has been suggested to us for a framing our thoughts, but it's still so hard. I just want to feel comfortable in my own skin and to see confidence in him again, but I'm just so unsure as to how to get there. Anyone have any ideas?
TL. Doctor, my husband and I have been through a lot in recent years, and are getting older, and I fear that it's really taken a toll on us visually. The two of us have become pretty conscious about it, and it has really flatlined our confidence as of late, and I'd really like to try anything to get that back to a good point and need advice. Taki underscore nose says. The advice is simple. Hit the gym. Go together. Eat better. Your complexion will improve with healthier eating, and your physique will tighten up with exercise. If you look better you feel better. Zelal Sadil Bike 528 says. It sounds like you are both down on yourselves, and have lost self-confidence. It's time for some self-care, and not the superficial kind. Go to therapy, both individual and couples. Exploring your expectations, and figuring out what you want for yourselves, and your relationship can lead both of you to actively pursue goals, and continue to support each other. That includes clarifying what the two of you are looking for in an open marriage. Once the both of you know what you want, and are clearly communicating, that to others may be helpful. It's unclear if you opened the marriage to boost egos, are just looking for a change or something else. The third party won't want to get hurt being used. You have to consider what someone will get out of being involved in your open marriage, whether it's sexual satisfaction, emotional attachment, both or something else. As for your physical appearance, the two of you can encourage each other to keep in shape with various activities. There are plenty cosmetic products and procedures out there too. It's really more about showing self-confidence and being happy with yourselves than anything else. Dayunga69 says. A lot of us are in your boat, start slow, do small things, and then keep going. OK Grand 1882 says. Hi. Married 30 years here. Like you guys, my wife and I were high school sweethearts. Lots of ups and downs. About your age, early mid 30s, I was about 40 pounds overweight. Young kids, work, other commitments pulling my wife and I in all different directions. We weren't taking good care of ourselves or each other. It happens. I suggest you make a plan, together and individually. Exercise, diet, glow up, new hobbies or activities, etc. Happiness, personal satisfaction, and self-fulfillment come from within. You can go through life looking for reasons to be unhappy, there are plenty, or you can wake up every day looking for reasons to be happy. It sounds like you have a good strong marriage and you take care of each other. That's more than a lot of people have. Keep looking out for each other, and remember to put yourselves first once in a while. Maybe Penis Tomorrow says. This sounds silly, but maybe you and your husband can start doing things that are fitness together. Hit the gym, do some couples cardio, take a couple good before pictures. Appreciate your body for what it is, and what it does, and what it becomes capable of, come back 6 months or so later for an after pic. Skips the picture of you want, but keep track of whatever milestones related to the fitness you're doing. r slash relationships vivid negotiation 6429 says how do i f15 get my boyfriend m16 to be interested in me slash like me again hello i'm f15 and my bf is m16 we've been dating for half a year and this is both of our first real relationship and i thought everything has been going well but for the past two or so months he always cancels on me last minute, or is so late to things, that we only a bit of time together. Tuesday is Valentine's Day, and I had a nice date planned and cleaned my house fo days, and tried new things with my hair, and look and everything, so we could spend time together, but I have once again been cancelled on. He rarely calls me, or texts me first, and never seems interested in anything I have to say, or just flat out ignores me. I want to know if there's anything I can do to make him more interested in me, or to like me again, or if there's something I can do better. Thank you in advance. 
TL. Doctor, my boyfriend has become less interested in me and constantly cancels. How do I get him to like me again? Hamung says. You can't get him to like you again. If his interest has waned, it's likely nothing you did to cause this. He might just not be as into you as you are into him. That rarely calls or texts, never seems interested, and flat out ignores me speaks volumes on where his head is at, it's definitely not on you. He's putting in zero effort, because he doesn't care. Cancelled for Valentine's Day. What was his excuse? This relationship is essentially over. Bisexual underscore ankles says. He's not worth your time. Dump him and find someone that will put as much effort into the relationship that you do. Find someone that likes you, enjoys spending time with you, and shows it. I only read title says. You don't. If they are not interested. Then they are not interested. Let him go. And you will find someone who is interested in you. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.